Hey guys, this is Noah's Gaming PCs with a quick tutorial on how to increase your FPS or get the best frames per second possible with whatever hardware you have. So um, this is a fresh install and uh, what you want to do is go to your browser of choice, in my case Chrome, but you can use whatever you want. Go to Google and type display driver uninstaller. It should be the very first link over here. Click on that and just work your way down. It should look like this, the page. Work your way down to the downloads here and just pick any of these downloads, download it, and um, there you go. Uh, so that's step one. Once you've installed it, uh, here I put it in the downloads. Uh, you'll want to, it should, be, it should be a zip file. You will just right click on it, unzip it, and it should extract to here. You'll double click this installer and there's, there's another extraction which will create a second folder uh, this one here and then that's it that's the first thing we're going to do guys uh, so what you want to do is right click on your little icon here for your network go to open network and internet settings what you need to actually do is shut off your uh, adapter your how you connect to the internet so go to where it says uh, change uh, adapter options you're going to right click on here and you're going to disable it because we don't want Windows trying to communicate with the internet. So while you do that, go over here and hold down the shift left shift key and you'll restart your computer like so. Let me see if I can focus this again. So just um, hit the Windows button, go to the power button and then right before you hit restart, hold down the left shift key on your keyboard, hold it and then press it and restart it. And what will happen is you'll be brought to this screen here. You can let go of the shift, left shift key. Go to where it says troubleshoot. Go to advanced options on the second page and then start up uh, settings. Hit restart. And this is going to get us into safe mode. So <coughs> at this point, you're going to go with option four once everything loads back in. And... Uh, you're gonna to go to option four. This is a this is a proprietary uh, computer, but basically you want to go into safe mode. Go to that option there that says safe mode, right there. It may look a little bit different. I think it's gonna be option four on the traditional Windows. Uh, go ahead, safe mode, and you'll be able to know to tell if you're in safe mode or not by the following. Just log in like you would normally log in. See, at the top here it says safe mode, it says the build version, and plus it also says safe mode down here. So remember the where you downloaded that folder? Go ahead and, and uh, bring up a Windows Explorer. Go to downloads in my case, go into the folder that you extracted, and then this one created this extraction folder. And then go ahead and hit display driver uninstall. And this is the for the first time you'll get this pop up. You go ahead and say okay to that, as well as this option, this little window here. Just hit close. Uh, another pop up pumps. Just close. And then what we'll do here is we'll select the uh, GPU because we're going to clean this uh, computer entirely. Um, let's go with Nvidia. This computer may have had Nvidia driver installed, so go ahead and hit uh, clean and restart. And then let it do its magic. It's going to uninstall all the NVIDIA drivers and if it has it or if it doesn't have it, any registries. Um, so let it do it. that. Uh, we're going to repeat the process for the AMD and for the Intel uh, as well because we're not sure if this computer has all, all, all these drivers or not. So we're going to clean this out and this is going to be a clean install. Before you have done any of this, you would have wanted to go to the AMD or Intel or NVIDIA website to download your drivers for the GPU that you are installing, upgrading to, or installing on a new on the new computer. And um, this will automatically restart the computer by itself. Um, it's going to load you back into win regular Windows, and you're going to have to do the same process where you hold down the left shift key and tell the computer that you want to um, uh, boot in this, into the uh, safe mode. Uh, so just give it, give it we're going to wait here. And I'm, yeah, I'm gonna repeat the process for the other stuff. Okay, so we're logged in here. 
uh, do the same process. Uh, you're, 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 you should be completely not connected at all to the, to the internet. Your, your internet adapter should be disabled. So go here to start menu again. Let me see. I can focus this a little better and then go to the power button and left shift hold on your keyboard and hit restart. Keep holding your left, uh, keep holding your, the left shift key. And in a minute, you should see this pop up again. Let go of the left shift key, hit troubleshoot again. Hit advance options, go to start up and then hit restart. And then depending on how your Windows was installed, you either have a vintage look like I have, or you have a blue screen where it gives you some options. You'll select option four. Uh, but in my case, I have to go to this vintage proprietary. This is a um, Dell computer, so I'm going to hit safe mode. And basically, we're going to do the same process again. Um, wait for this to load up. Okay, we're logged in again, once into safe mode, once again. Uh, do the same process. Open up your Windows Explorer. Go to the wherever you in, in had that uh, D, the DDU or the Display Driver Uninstall program. Go into that second folder. And this is the second step. So again, go over here, select GPU. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we did NVIDIA last time. Uh, the next one on the list is AMD. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we'll do Intel. So I like to start from the top. We already did NVIDIA. We did AMD. And we're going to do AMD now. And then go ahead and say clean and restart. And then at the top button there, and then you, it's going to start doing its stuff here. And uh, it's going to restart the computer, and then you're going to do the same process again. I'm not going to show that because I think I've showed it to you already a couple times. But the last step will be to do the Intel, get rid of the Intel driver drivers for any GPU drivers installed on your computer. We want a completely clean uh, com uh, computer with no drivers previously installed. or uh, and, the, and this is the process that we do to get rid of it, all of it entirely. Okay, so I'm just going to show you again. You can see that we're still not connected to the internet. Um, go ahead and hit the power button over here. I, I mean the Windows button here. Hit the power button and uh, hold down left shift and hit restart. Continue holding down left shift. And let go of it once you see this. Go ahead and hit troubleshoot. This is the third time I'm showing you this, guys, but um, it's all good. Uh, start up settings and then set up go ahead and hit restart here and uh, yeah we're just gonna wait for it to restart uh, again you're gonna see this vintage in my case this vintage because I have an old uh, computer here which by the way plays very good games and uh, you should check out uh, Nola's gaming PCs for some great deals uh, go ahead and hit safe mode okay I logged in this is the last and final step almost there guys almost there all right so let's go ahead and hit the Windows Explorer, let's go ahead and hit Downloads, go back into the same folder, and then you guys remembered, you're going to run this uh, Display Driver Uninstaller Executable for the third time, this will be the third time, go over here to where it says, uh, you can do this for audio, but this is mainly used for GPU, so as you guys know, we already did NVIDIA, the first step, the second part we did was AMD, and now we're going to do Intel, go ahead and click Clean and Restart. And that's it, guys. Uh, once you load back in, uh, before you connect, uh, re uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. So this, this is going to restart by itself. And then we're going to get to the part where you've already downloaded your uh, uh, GPU uh, updated driver. And then that's what we're going to do is go ahead and install it. Re-enable the Internet. As you can see, we're still here without any Internet. Um, I had already inst uh, downloaded the, uh, for, in, in this case, I'm, I'm installing a RX 580 GPU with eight gigabytes of RAM. I already installed the, um, I downloaded, before I start any of this process, I downloaded the, um, the uh, this guy right here, the, the driver. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and I'm going to install it like you typically would. And... Of course, Windows is going to say, hey, I can't connect to the Internet. I can't verify this is a safe program. Just hit run. And then you're going to say yes to this right here. And then the AMD stuff, this part could take a little while, depending on how fast your system is. Go ahead and hit install. Use this as the default location there. And uh, we can just wait for this. 
And in a moment, moment we'll be able to actually install the AMD driver. Okay guys, so the extractor finished extracting and now it should present to you. Again, if you're doing Nvidia or you're doing Intel, you're gonna have a different driver to install. But as you can see, it's identified correctly my uh, RX 580 uh, with eight gigabytes of uh, RAM for my GPU. And um, uh, just quickly to your attention, um, you could, you, you could go ahead and do the full install. You have the option of just installing the driver. Uh, if you really want the highest FPS, you just should stick to the driver only. Uh, minimal in driver, there's not really much a difference between minimal <coughs> and the driver itself, but full driver is going to let you be able to record content. Maybe you're thinking of becoming a YouTuber or a streamer. Uh, it's software that allow, uh, that runs on your GPU that lets you play the games and also record at the same time. So I'm going to go with the full, full install. I'm going to leave the default location here and then... Uh, that's pretty much it. You can verify the version of your driver. And um, as you see, it says full install for me. I'm going to go ahead and install because I plan on doing some recording on, on this computer and uh, testing some benchmarks for some different games. So I'm going to hit install. And this process, as you can see, could take a couple minutes or three minutes. It depends how fast your system is, but uh, we'll wait for that to finish up. Okay, so during the process of the installing of the driver, you'll see your screen will flicker on and off. You can see the resolution already kind of fixed itself. It looks much better than before. And then the last step here in this case is to um, restart is a recommended process. So you can see we're still disconnected from the internet. No interference from Windows trying to install uh, an older version of the driver. So go ahead and hit restart here. And the computer restart, go ahead and log back in. And then in a minute, we'll just re-enable uh, the internet back again. Okay guys, so we've just finished uh, installing a complete clean GPU driver for our computer. This is an older computer, but you can do this for a new computer, old computer, doesn't matter. Uh, the last step of the process of this course is to re-enable your internet. So right click on this little icon. If you're on Windows 11, it's gonna be very similar. Uh, I'm on Windows 10. Still keeping my trust on Windows 10. Eventually, I'll make the move to Windows 11 when it gets a little bit more stable. Uh, go ahead and open up your network and settings. Go to where it says change adapter options. And over here, as you remember, this is we disabled this. Let's go ahead and re-enable it. And that's it, guys. Uh, that's it. You're, you'll be able to connect to the internet again. You've installed a new fresh uh, GPU driver, and this is going to give you the best FPS for any game that you play. And that's what we are as gamers, right? We want to get the biggest FPS as possible. I'm going to do a video soon now with uh, Fortnite and Overwatch, and I'm really excited to see how this particular system works out. But anyway, guys, this is Noah's Gaming PCs, giving you some hacks and tips on how to increase your FPS with your current hardware. Um, otherwise, you could always consider an option of uh, one of the builds that I make for you guys uh, completely from scratch, uh, new parts, everything, and I give you the best price possible. Again, Noah's Gaming PCs, we offer you high FPS, but at a, at a low cost. Again, check out our eBay store and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up on my YouTube channel <coughs> or on eBay if you have any questions. <coughs> Thanks again, guys. and. Uh, Hopefully you uh, will follow this, uh, this process so you can get better FPS on your system. Thank you very much. Again, consider Noah's gaming PCs for your next gaming rig at a very affordable price with good FPS. Check out the videos on our YouTube channel showing some really good systems out there at a low cost already that I can build for you. Thanks, guys, for considering Noah's gaming PCs. And this, is, this, this ends the tutorial on how to do the DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller, how to get a clean GPU and get the best FPS for your system. Thank you again.